at 37. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout brings us three, four minute rounds of mixed martial arts, 185 pound weight limit in the middleweight division. The bout sponsors are Everland, True Soldier, and Providence AC. The referee is Big Dan Mergliata. Introducing first from the blue corner, out of Ricardo Almeida's BJJ. Trained by Ricardo Almeida. Wearing the Ram Black Trunks, he weighed at 185 pounds. From Tom's River, New Jersey, welcome, please, Drew Huza! Huza! This should be a stand up war here tonight. And the dress is ready. Coming out of the red corner, out of Crazy 88, Lloyd Irving, trained by Jason Farrell. Wearing the black shorts, he weighs at 183 and a half pounds. From Eldridge, Maryland, welcome, please, Angla Enzo! This is our final main bout, uh, main card bout, and then we're gonna have four championship bouts. This is scheduled for three four minute rounds. Lou Negley's Ring of Combat 38, an international flavor, Kenny, because we've got Canadians, Brazilians, Russians tonight. So uh, it's a lot of international action right here. Oh, and Len Sang, he just dropped, it looked like he dropped him. Puzon there, and now Puzon is looking to get that guard going. Who's on out of the Ricardo Almeida Academy? Obviously, very good. Looks like Puzan's already leaking. Could be from his left ear. Yeah, they're kind of early to be bleeding. But yeah, there's definitely some blood out there. Looks like uh, a cut above his nose there. Yep. On the bridge of the nose. Well, Sand came out swinging, and that's what he gets, you know? Yep, that's what he gets, and uh, that's what he, he's looking for, to inflict some punishment. And right now, he's doing a pretty good job of maintaining that top position there. Back to their feet. And an action right above us here. Who's on pushing, saying against the, the cage. Sang doing a good job pushing Kuzan's head off to, to make that space. And now they go back into the center of the ring. And Sang looking to land another big shot like he did. Oh. Another left hand by Sang, drops him again. Oh, but there, there goes the, the... Kuzan's going for a heel hook. He doesn't have it. Oh, right, they're banging inside. They, they, this is a rough fight. The heads came together. These guys are not giving each other any quarter right now. And you know, Sang again, it was off the counter to a kick. And where he's landing that right hand. And now Puzon getting on top. Now let's see what he can do from here. Uh, he's in full mount right now, and this is a good position for Puzon. When you're a Ricardo Almeida student, and you get the mount, your opponent's in trouble. Alan Sang also good uh, jujitsu though at a crazy 88 BJJ, so he definitely has a ground game. But who's on where he wants to be right now? Now he's looking to tie him up. Puzon's very comfortable here on the ground. Standing up with Sang, not so much. Not so much, you know what? And uh, but he can get even by landing some shots here. Sang trying to look for a sweep. Oh, was thinking about that uh, armbar. And now he's got who's on back in his guard. And that's if you're on your back, at least you want that. Sang has his foot on his hip, which he's trying to push out. He's looking to either get up or he's still looking for an armbar attempt. And Puzon maintained that top control. He's in the half guard now. You know, a lot of guys like to stay in that half guard and land some shots. You know something about that yourself, Kenny. Half guard is the strongest position on the ground. 
I mean, it's tough to, to get your sweeps from there, especially with the punches. Sometimes you get a guy off the mount easier than out of that half guard. Another armbar attempt. And that's the end of round number one. Kevin Garvey, the Garve here with you with uh, Kenny Rivera. Lou Negley is a ring of combat number 38. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the answer is by Carney. Brian is one of the sponsors of this bout. The highest spot on the boardwalk. Right here in the Tropicana. And that's the counter. The French Quarter area. You must have ID after the most vegan private attire. Complimentary admission for ladies until 1 a.m. with your ticket stuff. Straight left down. counter again. I wonder what both quarters are telling their men. Sang's corner is probably telling them to keep it standing. Ruzan's corner probably telling them to keep it on the ground. Yeah, you know, uh, and, and the way you, you take it to the ground, you don't want to take it via taking a punch. And, uh, you know, the, the ground's been working out good for Puzan, but getting there has been painful. Yes. Here we go. Who's on at the back? Who's on at the stake down? And he avoided, you know, he got the, the fight down to the ground this time on his own terms. Who's on, on top again? Who's on his worries wants to be as both out both double heels under his butt. Yeah, he's controlling he's, action here. Right, past the past the guard in full mount. And uh, this is Definitely good. You can land some shots here. Nice oh. sweep, I say. Nice sweep. There we go. See Chris Ligori over in Puzan's corner yelling instructions. Chris Ligori, a staple here at the ring combat. Saying right now is in side control, controlling Puzan's right arm. Puzan looking for a sweep, he cannot get it, his right arm is stuck. Oh, this is a great position for Sang right now, and th this is what he really needs to do. And Puzan gets his sweep. Now Puzon back in control and in the half guard, looking to pass. These guys both work in that butterfly guard. And Puzon in the guard of Sang right now and we're trading some, some light blows. But you don't want to trade shots when you're on your back. You yes. just don't have the leverage for that. Nope, those do nothing at all. Who's on with some hammer fist? A little bit of ground and pound here from Kuzan. Who's on with some nice ground and pound work. Nice ground and pound, then, then he backed off and came back in and, with a couple of shots. You know, from the top position, Kenny, it's been Puzon who's able to control Sang better than the other way around. Yep. You know, when Sang had that top position, he, he, he didn't have it for very long. Drew Puzon looking pretty good. And 
we've got just under 30 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, excuse me, round two. The last 10 seconds of that round, some very strong left hands by Puzon. Yeah, P Puz Puzon is starting to pour it on now a little bit more. And we'll see if that long layoff affects him. Well, actually, he's uh, been active in 2011, so he should be good. And we watched the replay. That's a nice sweep. That was a good sweep by Sang. Sang showing some good ground skills, but he just, and yeah, that was a nice little ground and pound there by Sang. And uh, there's he, a sweep by Puzon. Yeah. All right, we go to the third and final round. Actually, I don't think we've had a stoppage tonight. Nope, not at all. So it's uh, a lot of decisions, a lot of close a fights A lot of here. decisions tonight. We'll see, we got four title fights. We'll see what happens in those. I'm looking forward to Al fighting. Al Iaquinta, and he will be fighting uh, up next. Actually, we've got five title fights tonight. Oh no, we had, had one scratch. Who's on the single leg? Who's on back on top now? You mentioned Al Iaquinta, Kenny. Al, Al will be up next against Pat Audenwood. That, that's gonna be good. Uh, but right now, we've got Drew Puzon versus Ong Lasang. And now Lasang is on top in Puzon's guard. And better than being on his back. But what can he do here? Can he pass the guard? Sang landed some, some right hands to the head of Puzon. If I was Puzon, I'd be controlling his head posture so he won't posture up to land those right devastating blows. Yeah, I'd try and get up, try to pass, get to the back. And he's thinking about the Kimura there. Oh, now he's looking for a guillotine. Better round for Sang right he now. Wants, Sang wants him up. Sang yeah, up. wants him where he's comfortable. I don't blame him for that at all. He's gonna look for that uh, straight left. He's had he had success with the first couple rounds, but he's he just- on with a nice left hook. Yep. Legs came together. Sang here with some nice knees. Yep. He's got some height. Oh. Sang wants to be on the feet. Looks very comfortable. Trying to load up on that left there. There it there is. There it is. Nice, you know, hit him with that little inside leg kick and then follow with the straight left. A couple of knees by these guys. Got about a minute left. If this fight goes to the judges, it could go either way. Yeah, this is a tough one to score, and uh, let's see how Sean Barron scores it. He's a shadow judge right now. Oh, big kick there by Sang. Sang definitely wants to land that straight left. Go 
we've got under 30 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, he just missed with that straight look. And we've got just a few seconds to go. Good fight, entertaining fight. And uh, we're gonna have to let the judges sort this one out. Very exciting fight. That was a great fight between Sang and Puzan. This fight could go either way. Puzan with a lot of takedowns, Sang with a lot of left hands. With us this evening in Drew Puzan's corner, we have a former Ring of Combat champion and UFC veteran Chris Lagori. Both these men went out swinging to the last second. Well, both of these guys feel that they won. They've got their hands up. And we have a sponsor too, so if you don't last season, don't forget to check their booth for all your Ring of Combat wear. And tonight you can order special Ring of Combat t-shirts with all the fighters on the back. Order it from the Ring of Combat, I'm sorry, from the True Soldier booth. Selling all your Ring of Combat wear, all sizes, ladies, men, children, t-shirts, hats, sweatshirts. They got it all, true soldier. And we see the replay where these guys are slugging it out. To the very last second. And we're gonna go to the official decision. Let's see how they're tallying the scorecards. You know, when the fight is close, uh, they, they have to really go over those cards and uh, this could very well be a split decision, who knows? Here we go. At the three rounds, we go to the judges scorecard. Judge Torelli had it 30 to 27. Judge Sanadet, 29, 28. Judge Tamarino, 29, 28. We have a unanimous decision. The winner came out of the blue corner. Drew Puzan. Puzan out that way. Drew Puzan here was the winner. Shane's very upset right now. President of True Soldier, our now sponsor. This is their group for all your ring of combat wear right outside in the lobby.